importantly as well, they're forced to take fights at range as they sneak back to the pit. And against those AK-47s, could be deadly. Next step for NIP, you can see systematically taking map control. First in halls. Oh! Kaze catches force in a jump. Gonna be simple to take him down, and now they'll be bursting onto the side. He's gonna take a couple of kills with Shawada Pai here as he gets two, both headshots as well, and the oh, third wow. amazing play here. What? And he cleans up with four. This guy's sick. That is go. so sick. All right, take back that DM comment because he just owns them in the corner as well. That's a very tough angle to play. And as we see from time to time, the Asians have individual skill. There's no team as the push comes through though. Nami didn't quite pull the trigger, I don't think. He's still trying to hold it off, but it's Breaker who goes down early. That was the player trying to support him. So Nami decides to fall back and play it on the top of Red Train. As the push comes through, he did land that shot, but it, I think it was through the wall. So Z-Link survives and that allows him to get the kill on towards Havi. Trades back and forth. Nami still trying to hold on towards the site as he gets a third kill. He's down to a one on one. The push is coming through. He doesn't realize Obj is so close, but Nami gets the no scope. That is incredible from Nami. A 4K on the hold. And Risky will not die just yet, thanks to the play from Nami. Someone should definitely get in the demo and get that from his POV because he landed three shots before that. That was sick. Brother R, continue. The second he misses that shot, he just pulls out his knife and he's like, yep, <laughs> take me, take me, daddy. You know, just... I, I feel like there was a moment where he considered going for that knife fight and then he was just like, you know what? No. <laughs> I don't deserve it. Happen. <laughs> Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Oh my god. Send that directly to Gavin. You know, I actually had a moment in my head, right? Of that, I think it's Stewie. But yeah. Doing this. To spam in, at least it looks like Mars trying to spam in and find Stewie, but no, Stewie will get the better of him. It's up to Sugu again to try and clutch this. He's got two kills in very quick fashion, but he has been <gasps> pincered. However, that third kill brings it down to an even 1v1, and it's Tarek looking to clutch, oh! but he won't do it. Sugu comes out with a massive play for the Mongols and gives them their third round. How do you clutch that? That was amazing. I mean, I guess Tarek missed a shot when he was crossing bench, so it looked kind of weird, I right? guess so, yeah. It looked like it could have been... Counting on them being that forward since he just got... His teammate <laughs> just got two frags there. The bomb is actually dropped right now. And he's a solo. What um, can do? <laughs> are they going to win on the fact that he can't jump over there? Oh, oh, oh let's see him do it. I, right. I don't think right, I've wait, ever wait, seen wait, wait, this wait, wait, before. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's, yes. he's making it. Woohoo! He has time. He's hey, there we go. He didn't get the bomb. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they know where he is now. They're going to push him. They're not going to let him play. Oh, yeah, they will. Oh, well. They will. They will. They don't have the time oh, to go around no. now. Because there's a need. If he goes by and he takes him down. The 3 4 Boodle claim back the rifle round. As we mentioned during, it was pretty much just the, uh, the B fake that sold it for them. Of course, all Benkai wanted to do was just try and sell that just by throwing utility making noise but finding two kills certainly helped he pulled the rotations over and then boot just managed to roll the trades up through connector and out of palace onto the a bomb site that did give them the win and now oh goodness me time, oh goodness me what this is oh, it's just flash gaming in a nutshell really isn't it and, <laughs> and it's attacker in a nutshell as well he just has those kinds of rounds and so quick here with the awp they make it around the corner but that's the bomb dropped and he's looking for a bit more two on one an extra it, he's got to be careful. He's double scoped up there, looking for the kill. Still 50 seconds on the clock, so they can, they can wait a long time to recover this bomb. They're gonna swap there. He rushes through, he gets the one. He's at 75, he actually makes it back around the corner. And he's gonna go back for it. That bomb is there, oh my god. Extra it, how does he do that? No the way. The triple, he made it work, keeping Tyler. Oh. GG, Bented, Bented. I know, man, you are a strong Polish warrior. But I, in this round, man, I... No, I don't think so, man, you can do something. Oh. Polish timing, guys, Polish timing. I always believe in him, always. I believe him till, till, the, till the life, guys. Really. Benten, you're so strong player. I never lost the hope. Never.
บอกได้คำเดียวว่าเรียกว่าเฉียบโอ้โหแล้วเก็บ4คนของคิวคิวกอดครับส่งผลให้ซิกเนเจอร์เซตโกครับขึ้นนำา15ต่อ7จากฟูย That man once again crims Nate bounces off his head and Vici Gaming have six match points three and four HP remaining on those last two Vici players that's going to be frustrating if you're fanatic a dirty angle in and of itself but he can't build up upon it it's up on top of the hut zoking gonna get some work done three kills for him saving the round bringing it back into the favor of vici and then just finishing it off with a fourth oh and indeed he will that is going to really kill some time here for tai lu and they are four people with somebody looking to wrap from uh, arch he's got in there somehow but he will not contain the blow they're lining up with them sean is going to be a complete wipeout on the bomb side uh, doesn't quite have the timing when he pulls out some utility, but that leaves it open for Crow. There's the one frag, and will manage to dodge Benkai from library, so that can put the bomb down. It's going to be a difficult clutch here for Crow, and he's going to walk out, try and force a 1v1. You need to win a 2v1 like this, and he's going to win it as well. You've got to try and find an advantage, and he's done just that. Now impression with a Famas in hand. Crow has the advantage. All he needs to do it, and he will manage to clutch that one out as well. One versus three. That was sick, man. It's just flying at them and just pecking them away. Ouais, faut la casser cette carte. Faut reprendre la banane. Faut casser les lignes plusieurs fois, montrer présence et ainsi forcer une 3-2 classique. Il n'y a pas cette présence banane. Si ça y est, on voit le mouvement sur la mini carte. Gros danger là. Il a bloqué le fumigène. Excurate qui pourrait prendre un joueur facilement. Et oui, c'est fait. Excurate contrôle la poitrine. Qui a je vous ai dit qu'on ne jouait pas au foot en Asie. Super mal ce qu'il vient de faire là, Excurate. Et maintenant, on est un peu, un peu dans le mal du côté des, des Gambit. And might lose his life. Excurate, though, does pick down um, Cabal and Sugu also falls towards Sis. And, well, Frosty Misty is going to be dinked down. Frost Misty is going to fall. It's still two on three. And hell, one on three. He's off the machine gun. He's going to get two. He's going to pick up three. And Excurate is already tagged down towards 18. He's got the kit, though. Machine gun knows exactly where he is. Doesn't even need to body tag him because he's going to gun him down in the head. And what a clutch coming out. Sure, they'll tagged up, but all he had to do was click, and well, he clicked in the right areas. He does get it across the line, of course. Machine gun as well. Off the map, and the, the sort of beginning streak as well. They started the same way that MVP did it the last. Either way, into this CT pistol. Another one that we somewhat expect them to win now. If you're three for three, it's it's somewhat surprising to bet against them in pistol rounds. And well, it started very well for Cirque. He's found three kills. Looking for a little bit more. He knows the Zeph is around this corner, and that's a second through the smoke. Okay, <laughs> what? Zeth has just turned this back. This is a, a round where he's now trying to top Cirque. Looking to try and get all five kills. He has to do everything to win them this round. He's got to be careful because they're looking to peek in through the corner. He's obviously got the box to cover him off. And obviously the CTs want to try and peek this one together. The P250 can still work in a bit more of a spammy fashion, but... Oh, he's going to hit that! Oh! Whoa! Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> That's one way to break the pistol curse. Oh my god. He so he did that with a Glock on Dust too, right? He started off with a Glock this time around, then picks up the P250 and